Welcome to another training session of PLC programming. In today's session, we will discuss the tips for troubleshooting a faulty device net network. Before starting today's session, I request you guys to please subscribe my channel and do comment about my videos in the comment section. Let's start today's session. Device net network will not work correctly if the design rules are not followed. Even a network previously thought to be working and functioning correctly may begin to exhibit abnormal due to incorrect system design. To understand the device net network, first we will discuss the network cable. So as you can see the cross section of the device net network cable. The device net network cable has five conductors inside. Black is a common cable and blue is a can low cable. Uninsulated cable is a drain cable and we have to earth this cable. The white is a canned high cable and the red cable is a power supply positive voltage and a red and black cables normally carries 24 volt DC. The blue and the white cable which is can high and can low are used for communication. Termination resistance. A termination resistance is used to terminate the network. So this means that at that particular point, the network ends. A termination resistor equals to 121 ohm uh, with 1% tolerance and quarter wattage must be attached at the each end of the device net cable. The resistor must be connected across the blue and the white wires of the device net cable. The resistor connections can be verified by, de by disconnecting device net power and measuring the resistance across the CAN high and, and CAN low line, blue and white wires. This can be measured with a ohm meter. The reading should be approximately 60 ohms. Network grounding. The device net cable must be grounded at only one location. This should be done closest to the center of the network. Connect network shield and the drain wire to an earth ground using wire up to maximum 3 meter in the length. Power supply. It is recommended that the device net power supply should be used to power the device net network only. When the multiple power supplies are required, verify that the power supply for the device net is only supplying the device net master and the slave. Verify network voltage. It's need to understand that the device net is actually a 3 wire differential voltage network communication is accomplished by switching the CAN high white wire and CAN low blue wire signals relative to the V negative black wire. The CAN high swings between 2.5 volt DC recessive state and 4.0 volt DC dominant state, while the CAN low swings between 1.5 volt DC in dominant state and 2.5 volt DC in the recessive state. Check for the shorts of the CAN high negative or CAN high positive to the shield or short circuit with the power supply zero voltage. This can be verified by the ohm meter. The resistance between these lines must be above 1 mega ohm. So these are the some of the tips which are useful for troubleshooting a faulty device net network. I hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos and tutorials. Till next video, take care and goodbye.